Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. Today I want to talk about monitoring and more specifically, what do you look for? Monitoring can be really difficult. There's a lot involved with it um, and frankly, there's a lot of knowledge you need to have and it gets hard. And so a lot of vendors um, try to provide you with a lot of guidance. We try to set up things. Um, we set up alerts, we set up thresholds, we set up common practices, and we create an environment in which, you know, we hope that we cover most people, most problems in a way that provides you with guidance, that gets you to where you need to go. The issue you run into, though, is that everybody's system's a little bit unique. Everybody's got a somewhat unique set of problems. And so the general guidelines that we set up aren't going to apply to everybody all the time. And so as, as close as we try to get it and as much as we try to adjust and figure out smart ways to help you and, and guide you and, and walk you up to here's something important versus, eh, maybe you should look at this tomorrow. It's hard. And so what we need is a partnership. We need you to look at the alerts and stuff coming in and recognize not simply which ones are irritating you because that that's, you know, the whole signal to noise ratio. The more noise you get, you start knocking the noise down and then you reduce your signal and that's problematic. But we want to get to a place where we're getting lots and lots of good information, but that requires us to do a little bit of work, a little bit of tuning. Now let's go take a look at SQL Monitor and see what I'm talking about. Right, this is SQL Monitor, and it's not just SQL Monitor. This is um, SQL Monitor at monitor.redgate.com. So we've got this set up so that if you go to monitor.redgate.com, you can see SQL Monitor on display, and you can play with it yourself. You don't have to wait to do an install locally to try it out. You can explore it right here on our site where we've got servers set up, and you can see things, you know, activity and processing going on. And so... If you look at it, we've immediately got things set up, you know, with, with the real core concept of, you know, red is bad, um, yellow is meh, and green, you know, is awesome. And you can see your servers and their basic setup. And then over on the right, you can see, you know, the latest alerts and you can group those as you need to and adjust them around as you, as you need to go. The key here is, though, is we need to look at... Um, is not simply that we've got these alerts, but it's that if you'll notice right up here on the left, you have seven active alerts on the dashboard that are now over a week old. So I am running with lots of old alerts. I have basically effectively bad information um, because what I'm seeing here is not current. I'm not maintaining my stuff. I'm not working with the tool to ensure that you know, if it's, if it's old junk, it goes away. Because what we need to do is we need to look through the alerts and we can go and look at them specifically. And this loads up. And you can see the alerts that are coming in. And what we need to do is identify, you know, we've got a whole bunch of uh, deadlock events. And I mean, that's very problematic in most servers. So if we drill down to that, we can see, you know, they're occurring at 301, 401, 435, 536, 630. Now, this could be looked upon as noise. You could say, like, you know, look, I don't care that there are deadlocks occurring over and over and over again. And, you know, and under certain circumstances, I suppose that's okay. But what we really need to do is get to the point where we're either not alerting on the deadlocks or... We've isolated off that there are certain types of deadlocks that we don't need, and we're going to no longer look at those. So if we would go in here, we could, you know, we can't do this because we're on the online demo, but we should clear this deadlock so that we know that it's it's taken care of. But more importantly, we need to go to the configuration and go to the alert settings. and find our deadlock alert. There we go.
And we may need to start to change how deadlocks are done. Instead of capturing all deadlocks, maybe we need to um, a change and so that we're not taking in deadlocks. Or if we've got a particular database um, that we don't want deadlocks from, um, or a particular server, we go down to this server and say, you know, don't raise deadlocks on this level and all levels below. We can modify the behavior so that we're controlling the noise and the signal so that we're only getting the stuff we need to get. Now, you want to be cautious about this because you want to make sure that, in fact, really for sure, we're looking at stuff that, that we don't want to see deadlocks on. Um, you don't want to get in a situation where you're turning off you know, alerts on important information. We only want to a turn off, tune, or adjust the alerts down on places where we actually are getting noise. So it's, it is all about making those decisions to adjust things appropriately. And then obviously you can turn alerts on or off, um, disable them completely across all your server if there's you know something you don't need, or you can change the thresholds. And it's just so important that we get in here and make these adjustments to the alerting so that what we're doing when we come back to our overview screen is we're not simply looking at a lot of noise. We're not looking at lots and lots of warnings or lots and lots of critical issues that are not critical, warnings that are not critical. We're looking at clean, good signal. We're looking at information that is useful to us. And that's a very vital part of any type of monitoring and maintenance across your system. So hopefully that was helpful. You know, the basic idea here is, is to identify the stuff that is important and tune things so that you're getting a higher degree of signal and a lower degree of noise. Um, just be cautious, step through it, you know, very, very judiciously and um, ensure that you're not knocking off, you know, turning off something really vital that you need um, just because it's generating some noise. So that's it. Thank you. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.